I'm going to be using Modern GL to go over this video. Modern GL is a Python wrapper for OpenGL graphics. And the reason I'm using it is because uh, I'm going to be using some of the files there, or some modified files thereof, nonetheless. Okay, so what you're going to do is, uh, Red, you can do, you'd like, <laughs> copy the address of this repository. We're going to be cloning it, so just go to the green button and, and copy, <laughs> copy it. And then you're going to type the command git clone, and then copy the paste the repository, and then um, just hit enter and run it to clone the repository in your computer. After you've done that, just go to change directory to modern GL, which is the clone repository, which is just cloned. And then you can open it with Visual Studio Code, the whole thing, by typing code uh, followed by a dot. Okay. And that should do it. That will give you, a, you'll get a. This way you can access the whole repository in Visual Studio Code. Okay, so we're going to be focusing on two files, as I mentioned. The main one, which we'll be focusing, of course, is on the wavefront.obj file. And that file is inside the data subdirectory, which is housed within the examples directory. Okay, and the name of the file is create.obj. It's really just a three dimensional box. So that's the path, and that's how you can access it. Okay. Uh, we're going to be also be working on or using the create.py file, which is housed inside the within the examples folder. And so that's its path, and that's how you can open it. Okay. Now let's start with our video, <laughs> really. Uh, the explanation of the OBJ file format, and w what does this all mean, right? So I'm going to be opening a schematic I've drawn for this to explain it in a little bit of a nicer way. Uh, I believe the name was OBJ vertices. Okay, perfect. So you can see now that we have our create.obj file and the drawing side by side. I'm uh, just going to be explaining this whole. The, the entry, the first entries that we see here, which are uh, really stand for the three dimensional coordinates of the eight vertices in our cube that we are trying to draw. Right? Of course, uh, every cube has eight vertices, and these are represented by the, by the green nodes or, or dots you can see in the graphic. So that was a simple enough explanation. Uh, the next six entries you see here are known as the vertex normal normals, and they really stand for all the directions, possible directions in our, in for all the faces in our cube. Uh, and these are drawn in the as magenta vectors, which really um, you can see for for instance for the first entry here in line ten, it is uh, the vector pointing towards the coordinate of negative one in the zeta direction and zero on the other on the other directions. And so that's how it's how that's how we're representing them here. Right. Now the last uh, four entries you see here are known as the vertex textures. And the vertex texture coordinates, uh, from what I've read they're explained as the UB coordinates of a of your texture, but a, 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 a simpler way which I can explain it, perhaps not as profound as what I've read on the internet, but if you have a two-dimensional image, right, uh, this can be represented by just the, co the, the coordinates of that image in XY, in XY format, right? So I, what I've done here is I've indexed these uh, four entries, one, two, three, in the order which I, they have been written. So the first one is in coordinate x y coordinate one comma zero, and that's what you can see here one and then one is the x in the x direction and zero in the y direction, and so for the second one is one one so x y coordinates of one comma one, and so on so forth for three and four. So that that's all there is for for these. That's the main the main explanation I have for drawing this three dimensional box or crate. <laughs> Right. The last one, this other specification you see here is just uh, specifying the name and to generate the three-dimensional uh, object. Okay, and of course that what follows are uh, the specifications for all 16 faces in our cube. And now 
you may you may say, oh wait, but there's only uh, <laughs> there's only six six faces in a cube, right? Actually, there's twelve here. Sorry. Uh, but yeah, but it, uh, the reason why we have twelve is because in OpenGL and a lot of three-dimensional uh, software, no, the less uh, three-dimensional objects tend to be drawn uh, as a composition of triangles, uh, making a three-dimensional polyhedron. So what that's what you see here, and of course it takes two triangles to make a square. Right. So, for instance, the first two entries uh, with a prefix with the F as a prefix stand for the for <laughs> for the first face of a triangle. The first uh, entry itself is just a, a triangular face. Right? The, the the one which follows is the other triangle which makes the complete square. <laughs> okay, so now the format may seem a little complex but it's really not. Um, each of these point um, toward are pointing toward the sp specifying a specific vertex, vertex vertex in the triangle. Right? So if we see the first entries for are really stand for the vertex coordinate in three dimensions. The next entry is the vertex texture, and the last one is the vertex normal, right? So the order could be should be really in this way if you to to make things simpler, right? So it's V followed by V T and then followed by V N. And of course, in here we have the vertex normal for these two triangles are the same because we have the triangles in the base. These triangles make the base of the of the square, right? So we have the vertex normal um, of the vector pointing in the downward direction because it's at the bottom. Okay, so that's how you basically draw that square. And now, of course, you can see also that the square has been the first triangle we have here is drawn in purple because it is specified by the 1, 2, and 3 um, vertex textured coordinates, which are the middle entries that you see here, 1, 2, and 3. So they are making that a uh, purplish uh, triangle. Okay, so that's, that's a way that I can explain it in the most layman sense. And of course, if you would like to draw a, a triangle, a, a, the blue triangle, Right, you can basically specify the textures three, four, and one. Let's so draw it, for instance, in this corner. That's all there is really to it. So what we're going to do now is we're going to run uh, the create file, create Python file. Uh, let me just keep that open. And we're going to draw it to assess what we've learned. Okay, so we're going to change directory to examples, and we're going to run that file, which is create.py. Okay, uh, so as you can see, is uh, that file we're running the create.obj file now. Uh, it is specifying everything has been specified and of course what is really generated it's not so much it's gener what, what we're generating is starts after G after this line right we are generating this all of these faces let's say we wanted to for instance uh, just uh, draw a single square from that box let's say the lateral one of the lateral squares should be here four with a vertex normal four should be this vertex normal, so it would be. Um, sorry, where was it? So vertex normal pointing towards one should be like this face, right? This lateral face. So we can do that by commenting out all of these faces, and just keeping the ones with the vertex normals of four. Which is the last entries, of course, I mentioned. Okay, so we can just uh, 
run it again after saving the obj file oh okay no i forgot to save it <laughs> okay after we save it we run it and you'll see that now we're just drawing it's just drawn one of the one of the faces of that cube and we can do the opposite of course well we can draw the whole the whole box except for that face and so we can run it again and now you'll see that it's drawn the whole box except for that face so it looks like a box with an open lid and as I mentioned of course uh, these boxes are drawn as a composite of triangles so we can draw one of a single uh, face quarter, so to speak which would be just one triangle and so we can do the same just comment out all those except for one for one of the lateral triangles and then that's all it's drawn right? and you can see that now here the the middle entries are four four one and two and so if we look back at our graphic our schematic then we will see that the four one and two are these four one and two right so we would make that diagonal a triangle which is orthogonal to the ones i've drawn here four one and two right so i believe that with that i should this would be the end of the video i'll just draw one last example here Right, so here we're just, we're just drawing the whole box except for one triangle and we can do the same for maybe like the triangle on top and how would we subtract the top lid we would have to look at the vertex normal which is uh, stands for the direction for the positive zeta direction which would be the second one here right zero zero one so that's the second index so we would be canceling out these two faces, triangular faces. Okay. So when we do that, we run it again. We should blow off the top. So that's how we've blown the top lid and one of the triangles, of course, on the lateral side. Do the same and just you know keep the keep everything, draw everything except for the top square, and that's how you do it. It's a, a YouTube box with the, with the top lid blown off. Okay, so with that, I'd like to conclude the video. Thank you for watching. Uh, I believe, I hope that it, uh, this video helped you understand the OBJ WebRound file format a little more.